Welcome to this Edinburgh Instruments poster series video. My name is Maria and today I'm presenting a poster on combining photoluminescence and transient absorption spectroscopy for photodynamic therapy research. This presentation will show you how to use a transient absorption spectrometer to study singlet oxygen generation by Rosvengalin solution. We will show you how to characterize the full process using the LP980 transient absorption spectrometer including the absorption spectrum and lifetime of the Rosvengal excited state, the luminescence spectrum of Rosvengal, and directly detected luminescence from singlet oxygen. Rosvengal is a common photosensitizer for generating singlet oxygen. In this process, the photosensitizer molecule is excited by visible light into a singlet state and then moves into a triplet state via intersystem crossing. This excited triplet state is short-lived, lasting only a few microseconds. During this time, it can interact with molecular oxygen in the solution to generate singlet oxygen, or 1O2. Singlet oxygen can react with a target, for example, cancer cells in photodynamic therapy, or it can emit luminescence at 1270 nanometers as it relaxes back to the ground state. One of the goals of photodynamic therapy is to find the efficient photosensitizer that can produce a high yield of singlet oxygen. The best way of characterizing this is to directly measure the emission at 1270 nanometers. In this investigation, we use the LP980 transient absorption spectrometer. This is a turnkey instrument for transient absorption and laser-induced fluorescence in the range of nanoseconds to seconds. The LP980 features an ICCD detector for spectral data and a PMT detector for time-resolved data. It can acquire transient absorption and laser-induced fluorescence data in the visible and the near-infrared range with a time resolution from nanoseconds to seconds. In this study, we used a photon counting NIR PMT in the detection arm of the spectrometer to measure singlet oxygen luminescence. The pump laser was a pulse neodymium jacked laser at 532 nanometers, and the probe was a pulse xenon lamp. The ICCD detector in the LP980 allows acquiring the full transient absorption spectrum in one laser shot. The spectrum corresponds to a single delay after the pump pulse. Conversely, the PMT detector provides a full kinetic decay in one laser shot. This kinetic decay is acquired at one wavelength only. Both detectors can provide spectral or kinetic information by acquiring time or wavelength maps and then slicing the data. Let's start by looking at the transient absorption spectrum of Rose Bengal. The graphs show the TA spectrum acquired with an ICCD detector for a degassed and an air saturated solution. The negative component in the spectrum is the ground state bleach, and the positive bands are due to absorption of the triplet state. The degassed solution presents a longer lived transient spectrum, while the air saturated solution decays earlier. This indicates that the triplet state of Rosvengal is quenched by oxygen in solution and it is likely to generate singlet oxygen. The laser induced fluorescence spectrum of Rosvengal, acquired with just a pump laser, agrees with the TA result. Luminescence from the triplet state is longer lived for a degas solution than for an air saturated solution. We can use the PMT detector to investigate the decay kinetics in detail. First, we looked at the time-resolved absorption of the triplet at 440 nanometers. There is a clear difference between the degassed and the air-saturated solution, which supports the spectral data. Likewise, the ground-state bleach shows a longer decay for the degassed solution compared to the air-saturated solution. Finally, we used the photon counting NIR PMT in the LP980 to study the time resolved luminescence of singlet oxygen in solution. The decay shown here was acquired in just a few minutes thanks to the high sensitivity of this detector. The result fits to an exponential decay with a lifetime of 67 microseconds. To conclude, the LP980 spectrometer has been successfully employed to characterize singlet oxygen generation by Rosvengal including the spectrum and the lifetime of Rose Bengal, as well as luminescence by singlet oxygen. 
Using the same instrument for the full study is not just convenient, but it also ensures the same experimental conditions across datasets. This brings us to the end of this poster presentation. Thank you for listening, and for more information, please visit edins.com.